Well, hello, good evening, and welcome to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, the Juice Review Show brought to you by the Department of Inhaled Vapors. Well, I had a little bit of luck the other weekend. Um, on UKVT, one of the groups on Facebook, um, Chef's Paper ran a competition. It was just basically put up the funniest picture and make them laugh. Well, luckily enough, I won. And um, the top prize was a £50 voucher to spend on their stall. So I thought, as a way of saying thank you to them, and because I haven't actually done a review for these guys yet, I'd review what I actually got with the £50. Really surprising how much £50 can buy you. I have to admit, I was impressed. Um, I got 100 mils of uh, VG nicotine. I got four new flavours. Got I'm kind of getting into the DIY side of things now. It's just for myself, and if my friends run short, I can help them out. I'm getting into it, and it's nice. It's nice to also because companies like Pink Spot, Chefs Vapors themselves actually do their own concentrates of their flavours of some of the flavours. It's nice to get some of the older flavours, and also then try some new ones, and then maybe buy their premix. But anyway, I also got five flavours. I got four from the Chefs Blend. And I got one from Steam Gun. I got the one from Steam Gun because um, I kind of fell in love because I'm admin on um, an American group. I got sent this juice called Dillinger, which is a creamy vanilla caramel custard. And I kind of fell in love with it. Well, Steam Gun do one called Cinderella, which is a vanilla caramel custard. So I, I just like to ca compare the two and also just see how, how the UK side of things do. But anyway, the four that I got from Chef's Blend are, oh, I shall have them here. Can you just see that? Yep. Troll's Blood, aka The Disciple. Now, I have done a written review on this one when I first got it many, 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 many months ago I had this. But, yeah, I'd just like to show you guys it because I think it's something a little bit special. And the ones that I'm new to are the Queen of Puddings. Oh, that's a Cinderella. Queen of Puddings, Jungle Juice, and last but not least, the Donut King. It's another, it's another vanilla caramel, uh, caramel, mm, another vanilla custard type thing, and I, I do like them, but all wrapped up in a sugary donut. So I'll be interested to try and see what that one's like. Just before we get started, all the boring bit that all us reviewers have to say. Any views or opinions that you hear during this video are mine and mine alone. I've had no other influence on this. As you may have already gathered because I won these, I have not paid for the product. I'm doing this review as a thank you. But I will be honest, if any of these are, you, you know I'll tell you. All juices tonight, well no correction, all juices tonight are 6 milligrams. But the Cinderella is a 65-35 VGPG mix, and all the others are a 50-50. So, what should we start with? What should we start with? So I'm going to start with the Donut King. And tonight, my weapon of choice will be the Sigeli 50 Watt Box mod. And that's got a magma coil to 0. Hang on, Josh, I just check that. Yep, coil to 0. 0.8 dual coiled. Here we go. That's really enough to get a taste. Ooh. Now, the smell from the bottle is pure donut. Now, there's a hint of vanilla, but it's mainly sugary donut. Look forward to this. Right. Other thing I would just like to say before I do do this one: um, labels, labels. Yep, standard top with lock, top with lid. Even we've got the batch number and the use by date, and of course the obligatory not for use for under 18s. On the other side, we've got contains nicotine, store securely in a cooled up place, 
keep out the reach of children and pets. This consumes, seek medical attention. Uh, da, 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 da. Only for use with electronic cigarettes. And the main ingredients, which is PG, VG, flavorings and nicotine. Only thing I will say about these bottles is um, as a problem I do find with ones that are heat printed. I normally put four or five random bottles in my pocket. So because I drip, I can change flavours quite quickly. And I'll dip and I'll go, oh, I'll have something different, I'll have something different. So I'm happy. These have already been in my pocket. And I don't know where the... Here it is. Well, this is the Queen of Puddings. And I don't know if you can see on there. But yeah, that's just from being in my pocket. And it's starting to get bitty. And I can't actually make out what the thing is. I don't know if there's any way you guys can improve the labels a little bit. But they do tend to rub off a little. Others have fared better. So the Troll's blood's fine. But a couple of them, you can't actually quite make out what the juice is. Because the, the label has basically gone a bit bitty. But anyway, back to the Donut King. We're going to start this at 17.1 watts, which equates to about 3.9 volts. Mmm. Well, what can I say about that? Oh, mm. For 50 50, the vapor production is superb. That isn't a great deal of throat hit. That's fine by me. I'm not I'm not one of these ones that need to be kicked in the throat every time I take them. And it kind of matches what the flavour is. The initial flavour, even though you can't really smell it in the bottle, is thick, gloopy vanilla custard. That is really, really nice. The exhale is kind of where the donut kicks in. You get this freshly baked, sugary donut and oh they just fills them out it coats the, the tongue you generally feel because you can taste it that you've got that kind of crystallized sugar that they roll the donuts in oh mm. getting a bit on my lips as well i'll just have another one that Mm. Now I'm kind of getting more of the vanilla, but the donut is still there, and I so said the sugary bit is just is the end part of it. Oh, that is really really nice. I'm going to raise that up. I'm going to raise that up. I'm going up to 18.9 watts, which is 4.1 volts. That's at 4.1 volts or 18.9 watts. Vapor production just magnifies and multiplies. That is a really impressive exhaler. Flavour wise, the vanilla custard's got stronger. It's kind of knocked a little bit of the donut out of the way. But you still get that at the end. You still get this sugary all around, all around the edge of the tongue. It's one of those ones, because of the sensation, it kind of makes you want to lick your lips. Because you think you have done the donut. And you've got it on afterwards. And what do we all do with our donut? Oh, yeah, we all slurp it off of our tongue. That is really good. I can highly recommend this. If you like your vanilla custards, it's lovely. If you like your donuts, it's lovely. If you love two of them, you'll be in heaven with this. This is absolutely gorgeous. That is superb. Mm, nom, 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 nom. I'm just going to burn this one off. And then I should get on to the next one. I'm going to leave the Disciple to last. Mainly because because of the, the flavours kind of stick. And will taint. And will taint everything else. Ah, 
we're dry. Next one, what should we go for? What should we go for? Let's go for the Queen of Pearls. Now, the main reason I picked this one is because in the forums, Paula absolutely raves on about this juice. I think if Paula was only allowed to have one juice for the rest of her existence on this planet, it would be this, how much she goes on about it. So I had to try it. Oh, oh. Smell. Oh. It's another sweet one. The smell is slightly meringue with a black currant jam. It's all the smell, but this could be an interesting one. So it's another sweet one, it's, it's another dessert one. Alright, let's take that down. To 17. Yep, 17.1 again. Bear with me, I'm going to have another go on that. Nice. That is nice. That's smooth. Mm. Right. <clears throat> Paper production, once again, stonking. You're going to be filling rooms with this stuff. Um, throw hit. A little bit more on this one. I'm kind of putting it down to the exhale, which I'll get to in a second. Inhale. Oh, it's yes, black currant jam. All the way down. Oh, and then you, you kind of got this sweetness. It's got the, the jam. It takes like someone's put a bit of sugar in with the jam, but that exposes itself on the way out. It is meringue. It is lovely current law. Oh, it's sugary meringue. There is something else too, I'm not quite sure what it is. I think it's kind of a kind of more like um not a shortcake, but the base you get to um, cheesecake, sorry, not shortcake. Cheesecake. Kind of like bisc biscuity taste to it as well. That kind of mingles with the black currant in the middle part. Still got black currant in my mouth. But the exhale is this light meringue and this Blackcurrant is so mouthwatering. It literally just fills your mouth. It's like you, you've got a spoon and go, hold. It's that. It just fills the mouth and it coats the tongue. And so then you get this kind of biscuity base and then the meringue just eases its way out. It just floats over the tongue. Oh, that is so, so, so good. Hang on. Paula, I know I know exactly what you're ranting on about. Let's go up to 18.5, go back to 4.1 volts. Let's see if it does anything different, a little bit higher up. Mm. Oh. Can't lose the biscuit a little bit higher up. But the black currant, oh my god, it tastes like a life of its own. You almost get a kind of fizz to it. It's just a little mm, on it. Mm, mm. And the meringue, it holds back a bit longer. But as that black currant dies down, that is the, the last taste you're left with, a little bit higher up. It's just this very sweet. Mm. I'm salivating here. I'm having a bait. This is, oh, this is really, really good stuff. That is another one. That is another one along with the first one. The Donut King. I can quite happily go into my all day rotation. Thank you once again for that, Paul. Right. Uh, no one. I think we'll try the jungle juice. 
I think I've had a little bit too much sweet stuff now. Mm -hmm. I've got another sweet one to do yet, so I'll, I'll, have, a, I'll have an interlude with the jungle juice. Just gonna give this a quick blowout. I would just like to say while I'm doing this, people who know me saw what I put up in the forums, because I had a little bit of trouble with this device. The first one I got, because I got the pre-order, the V1, I unfortunately got one of those batches where the OM reader decided to have a bit of an epileptic fit every time you pressed the button, and gave you a random reading. And there's a few of us that have now probably experienced the worst throat hit and dry hit we've ever had in our lives thanks to V1. But James Burr at Evolu Evolution Bacon, gotta give him absolute credit. One of the absolute gent of the vendor. He took it back, he kept us informed all the way along about what was happening, when we were getting the when the new one was being sent and it was gonna be a V2 and he gave us all the information. So to James Burr, I'd just like to give a massive hats off to you mate. Thank you. But, <laughs> the only problem is, now I've been playing with this for a month now. The black's coming off in a month. It's coming off all down the sides. Now down the sides is coming through a silver. But coming down these sides, when it's actually on the fat bits, it's a very horrible light blue. The colour hasn't lasted, and um, I have to do a, well, I have to do a double click every time I start, because on the first one it will read it too high. On the second click it actually reads what it should be, but the first click, and I've forgotten myself a couple of times, and instead of getting what I thought was going to be like 3.7 volts, I've got 5.5. And <coughs> hey, and anyone who's seen doing stupid shit so you don't have to, you know I can take a decent hit. That's, oh, that's not great, that really isn't. But, for all those little foibles and things, I still like it, but I do wish I had held out for the 100 watt one now. Bollocks. Right, jungle juice. Let's give this a squirt. Ooh. Seems to be my general response to most things nowadays. Oh. What? Now this smells like there's a lot going on in here. I'm definitely getting a very strong odor, not odor, aroma of um, pineapple. And may, I've still got it in my nose, so it's also, and maybe, yeah, there's mango in there as well. I'm not smelling the banana. But I know there's a lot going on with this one, so... I'm going to have to play around with the voltage and see what I get. Yeah, there we go. I don't want 4.6 volts. Thank you very much. Right. I'm going to start this one a bit low. I'm going to start this on 14.6 volts. A volt? Yeah, that'd be really impressive. Watts, which is 3.5 volts, and then I'll go up. Hmm. Now, on the low scale, I'm getting the banana. In an orange. Bananas going in and the orange intermingles with it and then the exhale is just pure orange. Mm. It's a very sharp orange as well. It's a, no a very nice orange. kind of getting a pair. Oh, not like this. Right, that's got to, that's got to six, yeah, 16 and a half watts. 
or 3.7 volts. Bananas come through a lot stronger. I'm not getting that citrusy orange or pear, or even the pear now. Mm, I like this. Fruit hit. Fruit hit is low to medium. This one's got a little bit more of a kick on it, but I'm putting that down mainly because it's got sit. There are, well, it tastes like there are citrus juices in here, and like when you get your lemons, they always give that that little acid fruit hit instead of a, a smoking or a vaping fruit hit. Mmm, it's nice. And these are all the fruit. These are not like sweety fruit flavours or or chemically fruit flavours. These are just fruit. The bananas come through really, really well. I'm now getting more of a mm, a talk to it, it's like a pineapple exhale now. The banana still is purely inhale. But the other ones are coming through on the exhale. Mm. That pineapple just sits on your tongue. And right in the middle. Mm. Nom, nom, nom. I will go up again and see what we get. Oh, don't go up that high. That's the only other thing with these things. They say, oh yeah, it speeds up if you hold your butt finger down. Yeah, it gets to the point you go, wow, straight fast. Right, 19.7 volts. Oh, stop saying volts, you utter dildo. 19.7 watts, even. It's 4.1 volts. Oh, now the mango's starting to come through. Oh, there's something else. What's that? I'm not entirely sure what that other thing is. Kind of. Mm. Kind of coconutty, but it's the banana's gone. There's more mango now, and it's kind of coconutty, but you're still kind of getting a little bit of the tang of the pineapple. I'm not liking this. Bacon production superb, absolutely. Absolutely piss your wife off on the sofa when she's trying to watch the telly, paper. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so just from playing around with the voltages, I mean, I've had banana, pear, orange, mango. Tempted to say coconut, I might be wrong on that one, but there is definitely something a little bit on the, on the, on the higher voltages that seems to come out. But it's a juice you can play with, and I love that. I love anything which basically gives you a Willy Wonka experience that you get a different flavour on every blast, and you can mess around with it. I like that. Well, so far, that's free for free. That I'm quite happily going into my rotation. I'm now going to move on to the steam gun one, because as I say, I'm going to leave Troll's Blood for the last bit. Because it's a van... Well, hey, there she blows. It's a vanilla caramel custard. And as I say, one of my favourite all-time juices is Dillon Vapes. Dillinger, which is a, obviously, a vanilla caramel custard. And it's gorgeous, it's so rich, it's so smooth, and it's so voluptuous in its vapour. And this one is like slightly higher in the VG, so I'm expecting a bigger plume. Alright, let's just take that down again, so I don't take my face off, which would be good. Yeah. Going back to down to 17.1. Yeah, 
give that noise little splattering there we go and put the lid on oh I didn't have a sniff what am I like oh ho, 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 hello oh come to daddy oh. to be honest I'm not not really getting the caramel, but good. God, that smells like a rich vanilla custard. Oh, oh I'm looking forward to this one. There we go. Now we're going to start off at 17.1 watts. Just 3.8 volts. There is mm. pure, unadulterated, sexed up vanilla custard on the way in. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I was kind of disappointed on the inhale. I'm not getting anything else. No, nope, no, nope, don't worry about it. It knows what it's doing. The exhale is where the caramel comes in and laces itself through the vanilla custard taste that you've got in your mouth, and it blends lovely. Oh, 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 man, I don't go that bad boy. Vape of Dutch nice to be expected. Yeah, it's great. <clears throat> Slightly, yeah, you get a, you're going to get a throw hit with this one. And it's the caramel. You know when you get some toffees and stuff and you swallow the liquid down and sometimes it makes you go <clears throat> you kind of get this a little bit with this the caramel does tickle the throat but oh it's good by god it's good right let's go up 18.1 watts 3.9 volts ah people are getting a better blend now getting a Get it up in and out now. The caramel and the vanilla and the custard are just. Mm, mm, mm. I'm actually salivating it. <laughs> I'll be fair, if I salivated any more, yeah, I'm probably going to look like a rabies sufferer. But oh, that's nice. That really is nice. It's so smooth. That's the good thing about it. It's smooth, but you still can't get the caramel fruit hit. And as you're getting that, as you breathe out, that just enhances that and it comes out and mingles and does its job. Oh. Nose hit kind of actually encourages the throat hit. <laughs> but as you're blowing out, and we all know we kind of put our tongue up to force it out our nose, it draws the throat in a bit, and it, you kind of get a little bit more irritation from the caramel flavour. But it's still good. That's, that's nice. I'll be fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Due to the richness, and this is a very rich, thick, mm, custardy, sweetie caramel taste. I couldn't do it all day. This would be one I'd treat myself to. This is one I might have after tea or after a meal. Or if I just want to sit down and relax while I'm doing it. And it, mm, it is nice. It is a treat yourself juice. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, congratulations, Steam Gunk. I'd say you. Uh, you're not quite as good as the as the villain baked one, but you're not far off. You're, you're not about that far. It, it's still bloody good. Mm. Right, I'm gonna blow this out for the final time, and I'll get onto the troll's blood. Now, anyone who saw my review that I wrote, and this has gone back oh, quite a while now. No, I kind of fell in love with this. This little green beauty. You can see that. Yeah, you can see it there. This little green beauty. Now, for anyone worried about additional food colourings, this is a natural. This is naturally this colour. 
due to the ingredients in it, not because anything else has been added. Right, here we go, final one. Now, the flavour of this, and I'll have a sniff again anyway, is absinthe, aniseed, and citrus. And I'm telling you now that citrus is lemon. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's not nice. Now, uh, the reason I ranted and raved about this was because this was when this when I first discovered this was when there was a big hoo ha over. I'm going to dose this. This is my last one. I'm dosing it. There was a big hoo ha at the time with the non-availability of fluid in the UK. It was a yeah, it was rarer than rock and horse shit. And then Liberty Flight started to get it in, and they didn't get a lot in at a time. Always used to fly out the doors. Well, my mate got hold of some. Now, I've tried fluid from the States, and it's a strong, robust, in your face, beautiful flavour, but it's, it's a unique flavour. But I tried Liberty Flight's one, and for some reason, the flavour was there. I just got to move. I'm getting old, and I'm starting to sleep up. The flavour was there, but it was muted. It wasn't as in your face. It was kind of it was pleasant, and like I said, it did taste like it, but it didn't have the full effect of the one that I got sent to me from the states. So I've kind of been on the lookout for one since that point. And then Shirts Papers came out with this one. Came out with the Disciple, aka Troll's Blood. Gotta give it a go. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start at 18.1, which is 3.9. Now, say, so like the other chef's blends I've got, this is a 50 50. So, as you can see, vapor production is gonna leave you missing some part of your room. <laughs> Where's the flat? The throat hit. There's a bit more on this one, but that's mainly due to the ingredients. The absinthe and the aniseed is what you will first get. Yeah, you went up there, didn't you? I'll try that again because it decided to give me five volts. Ugh. Fucking thing. That's bad. Yeah. The inhale, mm, there's another mouthwater. All the juices I've tried from Chef's Vapor always leave me nom, 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 nom. Not like a gummy old man and old folks home. I'm fucking dribbling. Nom, 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 nom. They're gorgeous. But the inhale, you will get the aniseed and the absinthe. And that's a lovely combination. The absinthe, not, nothing's overpowering. Everything is in its place and it's mixed well and the exhale the citrus thing comes in and basically intermingles with the other two flavours and the overall sensation in the mouth is absolutely gorgeous it comes the rate of production comes out more like a 70-30 VGPG than it does a 50-50. So they do do this in a, well, a higher VG, and I don't even want to know how much vapor that's going to produce. But it's all down to perfectly blended flavours. And there, there's not one out of place here. There's not one that's trying to overrule the other. They're all blended. Oh, that's so good. I'm just going to go up. I'm going to go up to 20.1 watts, which is still 4.1 volts.
Fuel went up, brings out the absinthe a lot more. The aniseed sort of then becomes an undercurrent. Uh, does change the actual taste, but it's still nice. The citrus also comes through a lot stronger in the end. So again, it's another juice you can play with, you can have fun with. Mm. Oh, that is good. So, <coughs> on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the department, I wish to thank Lewis and Carl from Chef's Vapors a very, very heartfelt thanks for the competition win. Your juices are, as I always remembered them, excellent. And also, if anyone is, if anyone's into their DIY and into their concentrates and also all the other bits and bobs that go with it, check out their site. They've got the needles, they've got bottles, they've got the flavours, they've got the nick, they've got the PG, they've got the VG. They've, they've pretty much got near enough everything you need to get started on there or to carry on. Please check them out, they're great guys. All it needs me to do now is, oh, do you know what, I'm absolutely blissed out. <laughs> I'm so happy. They Normally I'll do a review and if I do one that's got this many in, you're going to find one that's going to go, oh, that's a bit. Mm. But they're not, they're all good. And that also includes the other brands that they're running on there. They've got Pink Spot, Steam Gunk, and their own. And check them out. They're well worth it. So, on behalf of myself, Darren Stone, head of the department, I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched, and I shall be joining you again shortly. Goodbye.